For the very first time, it's so incredible to think that the heart starts to beat just after 21 days. I just felt that I should record this video right here. It was heartbreaking to see the Boris video. Um, almost every month for two years, so she would sit here, uh, tearful and heartbroken. As you may notice in the video, I was never there when she took the tests. I actually never knew when she took them. Um, sometimes she would uh, tell me right away. Um, other times I had just have to figure it out. When it comes to such amount of pain and, and sorrow, it really changes the atmosphere. So sometimes I can just felt it. As the borough husband, my natural instinct is just to take the pain and sorrow away. And in this process, I learned so much about how to stand together in uh, sorrow. So first of all, my role as her husband is not to take the pain away, but my role is to be there with her and comfort her. And this is actually the point uh, where I feel that uh, we mostly misunderstand. I will use some examples from the Bible, and I just want to say that uh, if you are a believer or not, it, it doesn't really matter. But for me as a Christian, I learned so much from the Bible. And I just want to share something that has be just been really useful for me. In John uh, chapter 11, verse uh, 30, Jesus, he had a really good friend called Lazarus. He died. And Martha gave Jesus the news that uh, Lazarus has had died. And at this point, even though that Jesus knew that uh, later on he would raise him up, Jesus didn't go into the room where, um, where there were sorrow, mourning, weeping. He, he didn't go in and clap his hand saying, okay guys, relax, don't cry, I'm gonna fix this, I'm gonna take the pain away, um, bring me some oil, bring me some candles. When Jesus came into the room, he took the time to comfort. The Bible says that Jesus wept. He took the time to feel pain. He took the time to feel sorrow. Pain is a fundamental emotion. So some nights, me and Nubara, we were taking the time 
be close to each other, just being together, we allow ourselves to mourn and we took the time for it. So I, I just want to say uh, something. Um, you are allowed to feel what you feel. You are allowed to mourn. And it's incredibly important that you take the time to mourn. There is a season for everything. You have a season for mourning, you have a season for breakthrough, and you have a season for happiness. And here it's really important that you are being honest. Uh, if not with everyone, uh, at least with yourself and someone you're close to. Be honest about which season you are in. I just want to bring up another scripture, uh, Matthew chapter 5 verse 4. Blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. Uh, to sum everything up, first of all, you have to define your season. Secondly, you have to take time to be in that season. Thirdly, you have to share your season with others or someone you're really close with. And fourth, prepare for the next season. You're not going to stay in this season forever, even though it may take some time. But it's really important that you prepare yourself for the next season. I just want to share this song with you. Um, I will leave the link in the description below is Jonathan and Melissa uh, Hessler, a race hallelujah. And we just, when we were in the season of mourning, decided that this song gonna be the song for this season. Um, there's something just so liberating with that song and I highly recommend you to listen to it.